What's the damn deal? The name Rifle Knights. Well, damn. From what you saw from the title, you pretty much know what I'm going to be talking about. Why I'm quitting YouTube. This has to be the hardest choice I've ever had to make in a good while. Just because I love playing games, I love banking, I love playing online, I love doing all that shit. I also invested so much time into this, it's just so hard for me to let go cold turkey and just drop it all and say, I quit. But, before I go on, you guys are watching a montage of mine when I first started knifing. Yeah, it's a bit boring, but this is just a reminder to everybody. We all start from somewhere. You work hard, you dedicate yourself into anything, and success will come along with it. I didn't just wake up and just started banking and, and be one of the lead bankers out there. I mean, I had to work for it. Well, this is my beginning and the end of a chapter in my life. So I hope you enjoy. Now, on to the topic. There are several reasons why I'm quitting YouTube. And just to keep this short, I'm only going to talk about the main one. First and foremost, my family comes first. I've had some life-changing experiences these past couple of weeks, months, that I need to be there for my family more. I manage my time with knifing, YouTube, my career, and my family. But there's not enough time in the world to keep up with all four. I managed it in the past, but I've had more kids. Now I have five. Three of them are getting ready for school this upcoming year. I want to be a great father. I want to provide for them more than what I have been these past couple of years. In order for me to do that, I need to give up YouTube and I need to give up online gaming. I stopped playing as much as I used to. I told myself, you know what? I'll stop a little bit. I'll, I'll notch it down and uh, be there a little bit for my family. But somehow, some way, I always go back. I always say, I need to get this montage out. Oh, DLC came out. I need to put out a montage. I got it. I got it. I got it. It shouldn't be that way. My family should come first. And I'm kind of glad. Not that I've almost lost them or anything, but I'm kind of glad I'm realizing this now versus later down the road so like i said it's never been an issue with my family and kids because i was able to manage my time but i want to be a better father for my family i want to be a better husband it's been an awesome five years i've been i've been in plans i've been solo i had my ups and i had my downs and i wouldn't change it for anything they're all life-changing experiences i learned a lot of things i also told myself if i ever blow up i don't want to be that dick that don't support other knifers, that don't watch other content, that don't go like other people's videos. You can't even fucking tweet at some of these motherfuckers because they're too fucking, their, their head is too fucking far up their ass. They think they're holier than thou. Try chatting with somebody from FaZe. They ain't gonna reply to you unless you know them. It's funny how they say, oh, we get so many, so many fucking uh, tweets a day. We can't go to all of them. We can't reply to all of them. But it's funny how you reply to the people you know. But it's all good. I didn't want to be a dick if I ever blew up. I was supported growing up and I wanted to support other knifers. Sadly that didn't happen. But I accomplished so many things through YouTube. A lot of things that a lot of knifers don't have yet. Nearly 5k subs. Met some awesome people. 100 plus uh, videos for my top three weekly uploads for five years straight I mean I had some accomplishments that I'm very proud of and I wouldn't change it for anything well that pretty much sums up why I'm quitting YouTube my family my wife and my babies I love them a lot and I want to be there for them now before I close this I want to say to all my remaining bankers, have fun in what you do. Fuck everybody else. You ain't got to listen. Who cares if all the bankers are dying? Who cares? Do what you do. Have fun doing it. Upload your fucking videos. Fuck everybody else. This is an art form. Too complicated for other knifers to understand. I say knifers because some of the comp COD community like what we do. Shit. If I wouldn't be losing 10 subs a day, I would be at 10k right now. So apparently there is people that do like my shit. At one point, they said, this is, man, this is pretty nice. Subscribe. So, keep doing what you're doing. I also highly recommend you go for these RCs. While I was doing these RCs, I had three teams, three teams, three teams that were keeping me under their radar. Which are SP, XJMX, 
liking. So I encourage you to try out for them. Finish what I couldn't. Show them something that I couldn't. Show them something different. Look at my tapes. See what you can do different that will catch their attention. That's all they want. It's not that they don't block bankers, takes no skill. It's just that we're missing something. And that's what I was working on. How can I set myself apart from what us bankers do now? I, I was hardcore into, into these RCs, studying my tapes, studying what they were asking for, trying to, to, to get into these teams. And um, I spoke to their team leaders, and they like, they, they like what I do. They just want this one special thing. They just want to be surprised. I don't know what it is. I couldn't figure it out. And I wasn't going to give up. I was going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Until a banker made it into one of these top teams. But my time has ran out. So show them something that I couldn't. Show them something different. They want to see some crazy unseen shit. They want to see kill cams. Go for these RCs. At the end of the day, you have nothing to lose. If you don't make it, you don't make it. What, do you, what did you lose? Nothing. What, what have I lost? Nothing. You only come out winning. So take advantage of these RCs. That's if you want to. I want it to. So. With that note. I have four more uploads left. They are my last top three plays. I will make one more video. I want to make this episode an all out episode. And go out with a bang. So please turn in your clips. Via YouTube. Via Twitter. Anyway. Get your clips in. I want to go out with the bang. A leftover montage. Just cleaning out my laptop, cleaning out my vaults. Just just leave, leaving it all out there. Another one will be my secrets to bank shot. I will spill out every secret I have about bank shot. Everything you need to know to be a successful bank shot. Bank shotter will be on that video. Every tip that I use, every scenario that you can possibly possibly come across will be on that video so that's gonna be another video and my fi final bank shot montage that will close it out that will be my last upload and you'll pretty much won't see any more uploads from me I'm calling it quits after that. Mizu has edited my montage it's already finished I have it in my hands and she did an awesome job with it. I want to show everybody what she did. So, once you see my final bank shot montage, that will be it. That will be the end. This is so hard for me to let go. But, once I've uploaded that montage, my channel will be closed. And if you ever have any questions or if you want to chat with me, you can always reach my Twitter. My Twitter will be open. I still chat with y'all all the the, the knifers that I always supported, I'll continue supporting. And if I like your content, if you're up and coming, I'll still support you. Even though my shit won't mean nothing. But, it's just an extra view. I'll still be out there. Alright guys. It's getting a little bit hard for me. I'm out of here. Peace.